How's it going, allotment folk? Ridiculously early this morning. Well, it's not. It's quarter to six. Yeah, I want to get everything fed that's in the greenhouse. So, yeah, let's get on with that. So, uh, hold on tight, guys. I'm going to show you how to feed some plants. down early this morning just to uh, I was gonna give everything in here a good feed uh, that's on the way now I've had a bit of a disaster uh, the two strings we put up well there's only one now I thought they might snap and they have done so luckily the tomatoes they don't I don't think they've snapped the stems haven't snapped they have bent so they should stand back up and I just have to spend the morning getting these sorted now um, let's get on with that. So that's that sorted. I've just, just for now, I've just put some extra glass clips in here and ran a bit more string through it all. Uh, I'll have a look at sorting it properly. Um, we'll have to get some, I don't know, maybe we get some paracord or we get some, like a three, maybe a five mil wire rope and use that. I don't know, we'll sort it. Right, let's get on with what we've come down to do then. Right, to show you what we're using. We're using this seaweed. Liquid seaweed, organic fertiliser. 100% Hebridean seaweed. Uh, I've used it a few times. I like it. Um, now, while the comfrey's growing and we've not chopped any nettles yet, this will fill in for us. Uh, where we get it from? Elixir. They're up in Morecambe. Uh, it's only up the road from here. Stay up the road, a couple of hours. Um, I've had a few bits off them. Uh, pots, feeds, all sorts. Uh, they're not bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that. Plant food's plant food, isn't it? Unless you're really into it, then it's not. But no. So, all we do. Glug of this in the watering can, and onto the onto the chilies, onto the chili, all the peppers, and we'll get the tomatoes going as well, and the pumpkins. Pumpkins have gone in outside. I'm so late with them, but yeah, they're there. We'll give them a feed as well. Uh, see you in a bit. Now, so this is all we do. Mix made up in watering can. that check out my lawn look how good that's looking now look how green it is well, I made up with that uh, yeah. yeah the lilies are opening up as well now these have been decimated by them little red beetle looking things it turned out was a lily beetle that just decimate lilies. So yeah, you have to do something to keep on top of them for the future. Well, no, well, we're down near the pond. Tadpole update. We've got a frog. I've not seen him since, but I saw him last week. Uh, there's still one or two big tadpoles swimming about. I said, I've seen a frog the other week. Uh, yeah, it's doing its job then, isn't it? Hopefully, a couple of them will survive, come back and spawn for next year again. Hopefully. So I've got my sunflowers along here. I think we we'll have to put some big canes in for these soon, help them stand up. Uh, anyone else noticed that slugs really like sunflowers? And it is the slugs, just keep finding them on them. Sweet corn's looking fantastic though. Size of leaves on it. I don't with that. Yeah, I think we get some more nematodes ordered. Uh, is he supposed to? Is it you supposed to do them every six to eight weeks anyway? So uh, how I did it last time, I didn't do every every bed, just the bulk of them. Well, the ones I knew 
what was going in at the time. Yeah, so when I did it, I didn't have the sunflowers in there. I didn't have the cores yet. Did I have the cores yet? I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to get some more and we'll give everywhere a good going over again. Keep them topped up. Yeah, so my archway, not really going to plan. The pea side is looking great. They're almost as tall as me, that side. But the bean side, go on, beans. Like I, said, I keep giving these a feed as well, actually. Try and zhuzh them on a bit. But uh, like I say, the crawl, they're, they're getting high, they're climbing, they're up here. They're, what's that? Not ch just under chest high. But they're just not filling out. We'll see. So the garlic's starting to yellow off and start to fade away now. Uh, I pulled one out the other day and it was shocking. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know whether to leave them a bit longer or just pull all of them and see what happens. I think I'll give them at least a week. And if they all start really yellowing off, then yeah, they're coming out. Uh, so anyway guys, I think that's a bit of a short video today. Excuse me for not having my glasses on. They're broke. I've got an eye test in a fortnight. So it'll be at least a fortnight. Probably best part of a month before I've got my glasses. So until then, we're in contact lenses. And I feel like I want to pull my eyes out. They are horrible. But no, anyway, if you got this far, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and all the rest of it. I'm going to get off work before it pisses it down because it looks like it's going to hammer it down in a minute. So, yeah. Oops, well, we're here. Leak update. They're all still alive. They look all right, to be fair. They stood up straight. So, yeah, as we were saying, if you got this far, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and all the rest of it. I'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit.